Okay? So, um, I want you to pay attention up here. I'm going to go slow so that everybody can follow along, and I'm going to expect you to do your best. So, um, let's get started, okay? The first thing that we want to do is we want to sketch out the place where we want both of his eyes. So, I'm going to start with a couple of circles, okay? I'm going to sketch those lightly on my page, and I'm going to put some space between them. Draw a line that connects these two circles, and we want to make it a bit like this. I think I made this one a bit smaller than this one. Okay. So, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this line right here. And I'm going to draw another shape inside of it. This is going to be dark. And this is going to have a dark shape as well. Okay? Now, right underneath that, I am going to draw kind of a curved line. This is going to be my frog's mouth. Okay? Draw a curved line. On this side, we're going to draw a line that comes down a bit like this. So I actually drew it a little too long there. But on this side, we're going to draw a line that comes down like this. So here, we're going to draw another part of our frog's mouth. Going to get really close right here. So let's go ahead and draw a line coming in and a line coming down, kind of like that. I'm going to erase this line, I don't need that anymore. And actually, I'm going to make this not quite so big. So just a tiny adjustment right there to that. Okay. So a line coming across like this. And now we're going to start drawing in the detail for our frog's feet. So we want to draw a line coming out right here. And another line coming out right here. And we want to draw just kind of like starburst here. This is going to give me an idea where my toes are going to go. Okay? So on this one, we're going to draw one toe and another toe. Just draw a little bit of the toe right back here. You can't really see much of that. Okay. Now we can also see that there's another little bump back here where there's another frog foot, but we can't really see much of it. So I'm just going to draw the little toe that we can see, and that's all. So over here, we have our frog body, and we're going to draw a line for our frog foot. Right here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to draw our lines to indicate where our toes are. Okay, so there's our, our lines for our toes. Let's go ahead and sketch those in. One. Two. Yep. And one 
one more. Okay, so his body's kind of coming down here at an angle. We're going to also draw um, a little suggestion. We can't really see much of it, but we're going to draw a little suggestion of a back foot. So we're going to draw in one little toe and two little toes and then a little one in the back that we can't see very well. So we'll just kind of sketch that in. And now we're going to kind of finish up and um, draw some more details. I want you to decide where your frog is sitting. Mine is going to be sitting on a leaf like it is in the picture. But if you want to have your frog sitting on something else, that's okay. So I'm actually going to just draw, um, I'm going to make my leaf a little bit more detailed than it was in the picture. I'm going to just draw a big leaf shape. And I'm going to draw like some detail on that leaf. So some little veins for the leaf. Okay, just sketch them in there. Okay, and if you want to, you can draw some other things going on in the background. Maybe you have some other leaves that you can see back there. Maybe you have some other kinds of plants back there. I'm just going to fill up the background with some interesting shapes, right? I want it to look like this frog is just jumping around in a big green area, okay? So there's my leaves, okay? Now I want to add some shading and detail to my frog, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit of a shadow on this side of his face. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker on this side. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on his eye to make it look round. I'm going to add like just a light gray value and then I'm going to make it dark kind of underneath here. So a little bit of shadow right in here to give some dimension to that eye. I'm going to add a shadow right here underneath his lip. I'm going to make this line pretty dark where his mouth is. And then I'm going to put a shadow right underneath his lip. Go all the way across. Give him a little shadow here on his belly. And I'm going to add some shadowing to this part of his body. It's so shadowy here, it almost makes him blend in with the background. Because I'm going to add some shadow to my leaf. Okay? I'm going to create um, just a little bit of a light gray value over the rest of his face. I still want my shadows to be darker than that, though. So if you have to step on your shadows, you can. Because he's green, so that's a little bit of a darker value. I want to add a little bit of a dark value right here on his leg. Some lighter gray around it, but just a little dark value coming down the center of it. And I want to add some dark value to the edges of these toes. I'm going to make this a bit of a darker value because it's further away. Okay, and I'm going to do a similar thing over here. Give it a little bit of a darker value on this side. toes a dark value on this edge. Okay, a little bit of a darker value here in the back. And this is further away. Give some value to my toes.
So my frog is looking pretty good. Now I want to give um, some detail and shadow to my leaves. So I want to make my leaf nice and dark right where my frog is sitting because he's creating a shadow on this leaf. Okay to make up some things. So if you want to add some details that I'm not including in my picture, but you want to include in your picture, that's great. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow right underneath them. Give them a place to be. dark shadowy spot where he's landed and then the rest of my leaf I want to um, I want to create just a light gray value overall so I can go ahead and adjust that edge so I can see it a little better adjust those veins in my leaf so I can see them a little better if I want to. And just add in my shading. Now these leaves that are way in the background, I'm going to give them a bit of shading too. darker around where my frog is so that it can add to the contrast of the picture. And you guys know I'm doing really fast shading to get done with my drawing fast, but it's okay to take your time and do a little better job than I am. So obviously I can add more detail to my picture. I'm going to go ahead and stop for today and I'm going to check out and see what you guys did. Remember when you're finished with your drawing, make sure that you add your artist signature to the bottom.